Hi there, I'm Wendy Hernandez, and I'm the creator and the founder of the Command the Courtroom One Day Workshop Series. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about building your best custody case. Specifically, I want to talk to you about mother's rights versus father's rights. So there's this urban myth out there in the world that we live in a mother's rights world. And I'm here to tell you that that's not the case anymore. Um, judges' attitudes are becoming more progressive, the world is evolving, and what judges are really looking at is what is in the best interest of the children. So if you're a mom and you're fighting for custody or parenting time, my advice to you is don't get too lackadaisical, don't get overconfident and think that just because you're the mom that you're going to get custody or parenting time automatically. That's not the case. You're still going to have to prove your case to the court. And if you're a dad, don't get overly discouraged, don't despair and think just because you're the dad, there is no hope for you, there's no chance that you're, you, can ever, you could ever get custody or parenting time of your children. That's not the case either. You too have to prove your case. So let's talk about proving your case. What you have to do in these types of cases is show the judge what is in the best interest of your children. How do you do that? Well, in each state in the United States of America, there's a statute which governs child custody and parenting time. And in those statutes, they will list the factors that the court is gonna look at in making a decision about custody and parenting time. What your job is to do to, is, is to present each of the factors that applies to your case along with the supporting testimony and evidence. So let me give you an example. In Arizona, our statute is probably eight or 10 factors long. Um, and some of those factors are, um, that the judge is gonna look at are, what are uh, the wishes of the child, if the child is old enough to have an opinion. The judge will look at whether there's been domestic violence in the relationship. The judge will look at if there are other significant relationships that affect the child. So that might be um, relationships that the child has with a new significant other or with grandparents or step siblings. Um, the judge will look at the child's adjustment to home and community. So how is the judge doing in school or how's the child doing in school? Does the child have friends in the neighborhood? Um, does the child participate in extracurricular activities? So that's all of under the child's adjustment to homeschool and community. Those are just a few of the factors that judges in Arizona consider in making a decision about what's in the best interest of the child. So what your job is to do is go check out the factors in your state and start gathering the evidence that's gonna support the factors that apply in your case. So for example, if you were in a relationship with the par other parent of your children and it was a, a relationship with, where there was domestic violence, start gathering the evidence of the domestic violence. Start gathering the police reports, the restraining orders, the pictures, whatever there is that might help you show that domestic violence existed and present that at trial. So. The point of this video is to tell you that there's no mother's rights states in the world anymore. There's no father's rights sta states in the world. There are children's rights states. The judge is concerned about what is in the best interest of the child. So as you build your best custody case, start thinking about what's best for your children, prove those factors to the judge, gather the evidence, and whether you're a mother or a father, keep the faith, keep going. I'm on your side when it matters most. If you want more about Command the Courtroom, go to commandthecourtroom.com.